A very good morning to all the delegates and faculty members. My name is Kathy Sharma and I am a third year resident in Jawaharlal Nehru Medical College, Belgaum. Today I would be presenting a rare demonstration of active bleed by re rupture in a case of ruptured intracranial aneurysm. Starting with the introduction, CT angiography plays the mainstay role in diagnosis, prognosticating, and treatment planning of a ruptured intracranial aneurysm. All the active bleeding during intra-arterial angiography is well documented. Only a few case reports have been able to demonstrate it in CT angiography in the past. Only a handful number of reports are available which have shown varied appearance of active bleed. Higher mortality and poor prognosis has been associated with the rupture of aneurysm. Hence, further studies on its appearance is necessary to improve its diagnostic rate of this lethal complication. This report describes the case of young female patient with active bleed or re-rupture on CT angiography from an already ruptured trilobed aneurysm from M1 segment of the right MC artery. This had pro uh, prompted immediate therapeutic intervention in this patient. The patient underwent CT brain angiography using a 128 slice CT machine. This 22-year-old female had presented to the emergency department of KLE, Dr. Prabhakar Kore Hospital in Belgaon with complaints of sudden onset headache and loss of consciousness. The patient was hypertensive on admission. There was no history of trauma. There was no relevant past history and no relevant family history. On getting CT brain plane done, we could see intraperenchymal hemorrhage in the right temporal region, which was resulting in mass effect and midline shift to the left side. There was a STH subdural hematoma in the right frontoparietal region. Also, there were few streaks of subarachnoid hemorrhage in the right frontotemporal region. Given that there was no history of trauma, the patient was advised CT angiography to rule out any aneurysm. So on post contrast study, we can see an outpouching from the M1 segment of right MCA artery, which was suggestive of aneurysm. But then in these images, we can see apart from the vessels, there is another tubular structure which is shown in yellow arrows, which was seen posterior to the hematoma. This, if we go back to our plane scan, we see it was not present in the plane brain. We checked the attenuation of the structure which showed attenuation values between 200 to 250 and then that of the adjacent arteries like MC artery was around 350 to 400. Hence we, it was suggested that this is extra position of contrast that we are seeing as attenuation values are less than that of the adjacent contrast filled blood vessels. On further delayed images taken three minutes after, we can still see pooling of the contrast in the subarachnoid space in the right temporal region, which was confirming our suspicion of a contrast extravasation or re rupture. These are 3D post processed images in which we can see the aneurysm in the right MCR with contrast extravasation. Coming to the discussion. Previous literature tells the incidence of aneurysmal rebleeding during intra-arterial angiography varies from 0.01% to 0.35%. It could be suggested that prevalence of re-rupture on CT angiography is quite rare as the contrast injection is made in the peripheral vein and this technique is unlikely to result in acute aneurysmal re-rupture. Only a handful number of studies have reported transient hypertension in response to contrast administration. This could be because of re-rupture. However, there are no studies available to suggest correlation between the hemodynamics changes in patients undergoing CT angiography and re-rupture. In case report previously done by Kathuria et al., two cases were discussed which shows active extravasation on CT angiography as a tubular structure with undulating contour mimicking a vascular structure. The attenuation was similar to the contrast to specified adjacent arteries. He had also suggested that active extravasation could be easily detected in delayed images taken after three minutes and confirm diagnosis of deep bleed by demonstrating pooling of contrast in subarachnoid spaces. 
Hence, the proof that addition of delayed images post contrast could improve diagnostic rate of active breed. It was not mentioned in any previous such reports. High mortality and poor prognosis has been associated with re rupture of aneurysm. Since CT angiography is used in almost all the cases being evaluated for rupture analysis, it is essential to recognize this condition at the earliest as prompt diagnosis may help in improving the prognosis in sleep complication. Studying the characteristic appearances are necessary. Only a few cases of active bleeding during CT angiography have been reported in the past. Moreover, the cases reported so far have varied appearances. Further, Reporting these cases might help in understanding different imaging appearances and increase the diagnostic rate. Polarni et al. had reported a nebulous area of increased attenuation outside and adjacent to the right internal scaphoid artery, indicating extravasated contrast. They had also told about decreased density of the area of increased density as one moved further from the aneurysm due to dilution. Nekutsala et al. had similarly reported the coxtrue sign and cap sign on the appearance of extravasated contrast to suggest active bleeding. Extravasated contrast can also be seen in the ventricular system in anterior communicating artery aneurysm. The undulating ribbon like twisting structure mimicking a vessel was told by Komiyama et al. In, this, in the report, which was similar to what we saw in our case. So in conclusion, higher mortality and poor prognosis has been associated with re rupture of aneurysm. Hence, it's essential to recognize this condition at the earliest as prompt diagnosis may help in improving the prognosis in this lethal complication. Studying the characteristic appearances, appearances of re rupture on CT angiography is necessary to diagnose this condition at the earliest. These were the references which I had used. Thank you so much.